though. Gave it across to men and out in front. Parrish will get this. The next 12 months, he'll end up key position. He's a 191 centimetres already, a boy from up in the Wimmera of Country Victoria. Yes. Moved down to Ballarat for, uh, for his schooling and for his football and uh, love the way he goes about it. And he's just so versatile for down the track. He can play, play as that tall midfielder. Yeah. A couple of big names involved there. Bailey Rice, beautiful pass to Josh Shackey, who's had an absolutely outstanding carnal, as Britton mentioned, at the top of this game. You've watched his, kick, his kicking style here, boys. Very relaxed. His left leg comes across his body as he makes contact. But uh, fantastic fluent action here. He's 199 centimetres. And it is a good drop. Look at that. Look at that. Yep. Shackey! Well, there'll be a lot of people watching around the country. They've seen everything he does, and he gets better and better as we watch him. He makes it look easy. 24th goal that he's kicked yeah. in the six games of this championship, and uh, he's as good a Rice. technician as, as we've seen, to be quite honest with his kicking. Yeah. For a boy of that size, that six foot six, six foot seven, 199 centimetres, there, there's no one better than that with such a relaxed as Sando described uh, walk in, drop of the ball, follow through. It's all perfect. It's a simple skill sometimes. We've seen uh, probably four or five players have a shot for goal from that same pocket in the previous game. And Not no. So, yeah, there's a bit of pedigree there. And kick 48 for Brisbane in the uh, oh, AFL. Oh, he again. Won the goal kicker. He might get it here back he here. He's going to test him out now. 199 out to the middle of the ground. And then drives it long. Over the back it goes. Shaky gets there first. Gives it off. Give it off nicely there to Wiedering. But Wiedering's kick is to the left-hand side. Oh. Gave it over to Simpkin. Good hands by Vic Country. His kick across the face. Falls onto the chest of Shackey. It's a tight angle. He thought about going to Weedering. Should have. Should have? Would have thought, yeah, on that occasion. So this, what are those pickers? No, I look, I'm confident he'll kick it. He's a beautiful kick. He's going to go around the body this time. Yeah, looks like he's going to just gonna come step out a couple outside, of steps. Yep. And he's always going to do it too far, wasn't he? Yep. I've liked Jai Simpkin. Down at ground level, crumb ball to be one. Shaki comes through. The fitness test prior to this game commencing in the 40 minutes before as to whether he... It's wrapped up beautifully by Watson, but the ball comes out. And an important period here for WA because country sort of stepped it up. And Shaki's in support. Little underground handball. Mutima back to Shaki. Got a call inside, got it from Berry. He'll play on. And he'll go have a ping here. He gets inside 50. Jared Berry for a goal. As mm. soon as he hit it, he knew it was good. Watson did okay, but he's under some pressure for the tackle. Simpkin lurking for Victoria. Shaki got it back. Uh, halfway, half time of the first game. And, you know, well, obviously, Nat Fife's the flavour of the month at the moment because he's such a great player. And he's, he's going to win the Brownlow by a street. It's time he found his target. It's Tucker to Shaki. And good kick from Carnival. You'd have to say that I mean, as, we, as we wind down. And I think there was a bit of negativity around the not being a very big pull. And you see this sort of stuff and this sort of player. And I think the recruiters are pretty excited, to be fair. Yeah, we haven't had a group of big blokes.